Yo, yo, thanks for tuning in to Tabletop Jocks. First and foremost, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe. And if you already are and you want to give a little bit more, go ahead and join that Patreon. We're in Discord playing Spell Table Magic. We're doing TTRPGs. We're doing D&D one-shots. They're doing fantasy football bets. All kinds of stuff going on. The community is growing, so if you want to grow with us, go ahead and holler at your boy. Joe Johnson, aka Black Nito, and welcome to Tabletop Jocks! Let's go! Pew, 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 pew. We're just doing the finger gun thing. Just hit that like. That's, a, that's that. Hit that's that like. Hit that gun. Subscribe, comment, join the Patreon, because <laughs> doing the thing. So I'm, I'm pointing at you, I'm talking to you. Do it. Uh, we're having a great time. Uh, and you can have a great time too. We're also in the Discord doing uh, DD one shots. We're doing uh, TTRPGs. We're playing Magic. We're doing a whole lot of stuff. We're at, you can like fantasy football and like UFC stuff. I'm like, damn, like, y'all betting on sports up in here? Like, <laughs> is this a whole, is this Vegas going on in the Discord? Like, what's going on? Um, <laughs> also, shout out to 1985 Games for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys for this lovely little uh, notepad uh, that you gave out. I, I take all my notes. I'm old school. You know, I take all my notes. Like, I don't use the computer for, you know, visual stuff, but uh, definitely if you want to hit that link, link's in the bio, and uh, definitely check out all the stuff that they have. Got a bunch of cool stuff. They're very brand new, but we're also brand new, so we're help helping homies, homies helping homies. So that's what it is. Um, yeah, let's uh, get to these introductions underway. Hello, my name is Michael Sinclair II. I go by Michael Crits everywhere. That's where you can find me today. I am playing. Holy crap! There's it's been a lot. It is called Tinkle Pants. Uh, cob it's a goblin. Tinkle Pants. <laughs> Uh, that is who I am playing today. Holla at your boy. Hello, hello. I'm Staluna, Staluna and Hebe on all socials. Today I'm playing Boots. Boots is a dragonborn goblin. Yeah, a close Goblin. <laughs> goblin rogue. Yeah. And also a K-pop star. Yes. I forgot to mention that I am a uh, goblin warlock angel because he's an Asamar goblin. Yes. So. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Joe, please! Joe, no, come on! Is that hard? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, Black Needle underscore all things. Uh, I am playing a goblin druid named Mantis Toboggan. Uh, and yeah. DDS. DDS. <laughs> he is a doctor. Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, that's what uh, I thought too. Uh, uh, but he can do that as well. Mm -hmm. So close. He can do that so as well. Close. You gotta see him. He's like Dance half Dance of everyone Revolution. else's size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa. Lisa Lisa on uh, my Twitch social, which is the one I'm giving. Pew. Um, I am playing Tweedledee Dumb, and I am a... What am I? <laughs> why are we all forgetting what we are? Um, <laughs> Great wasn't that long, guys. <laughs> no idea why. No idea why. <laughs> I'm a goblin blood. So I like to strum. I like to play. I like to chaos. We get shiny things. Mm -hmm. Play silly games and we get silly prizes. So far. So far, so, so far. good. So far. Hi, I'm Joel, also known as Runaway Robot. I will be your DM for today. Uh, we will be coming back into our adventure known as Goblin, 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 Goblin. Our goblins, having been uh, told by their large ancient red dragon, Jazz uh, aficionado boss, that he they need to go steal back a uh, golden Matrushka dolls shaped like chihuahuas from his brother Barnabas, the seventh wind of the west. Um, they were able to prepare somewhat, uh, maybe swindle a shopkeeper out of a bag of holding? And also bought a cake for someone named Smashly, whose birthday it might be, and that they should be aware of. Still not really sure how that's gonna pan out there. But where we last left off, our, um, gregarious goblin troop find themselves on a long hallway of death! 
where at one end uh, there is well one Jeffrey Fishman. Uh, we will bring him back up for everyone to enjoy once again. This is Jeffrey Fishman Esquire. Uh, he is the gate guardian of the side entrance of this particular dungeon. And so they have had a bit of a conversation where he said that no, he unfortunately cannot turn off any of these traps and they must make their way directly across to the other side if they are to complete their job. So, right where we left off pants, you were going to do something here to uh, pick up boots and try I, and I realized I picked move up the rug, which is kind of foolish. Um, I'll maybe pick up Mantis. Mantis. You want to pick up Mantis? Mm -hmm. Mantis, you get lifted up, and then you just want to try to make your way past mm -hmm. the the first set of traps here. Yeah. Okay. Mantis may be half the size of everyone else here. Uh, but with having only use of half of your body because you are carrying Mantis, sure. I need Dexterity saving throw with disadvantage I'm around the first spinning axe blade trap. I'm gonna die. You'll be fine. Great, first one's a seven. Uh-huh. Let me roll. I didn't, you know, I'm so used to that. Yep. Mm. Uh, it's a classic Michael roll, and we all know that- Again? Uh, classic. <laughs> Do you not know? I know, this you is the first time. I've, I've been following you on Twitter for like years, but I've never gotten to play with you. So this is the first time <laughs> I I've roll a lot of ones as indicated by, as I, she can confirm. I, That's well, a one? Yeah, right. So yes. um, what happens as you trip and fall and Mantis Toboggan goes flying out of your hands here, <laughs> as you also get hacked in the side by an ax blade, taking Perfect. 10 points of slashing that is damage, painful. That uh, is and painful. hitting the ground. Mantis, I need a dexterity saving throw before you basically roll yourself into the ax blades. Yep. Um, yeah, so you would find yourself right here, Pants, as uh, we'll do it. Mantis gets shoved forward into the ax blades. Uh, what'd you roll? Four. Oh, yeah, okay. I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Uh, so you will take 11 points of slashing damage as you are now underneath the central axe blades here. They were over your head after you take the slashing damage there, and it looks like you might need to move rather quickly before they hack into you again. What do you want to do, Mantis? <laughs> or does anyone have anything to help him? <sighs> All right. Um, you can gong hit. I think that's. Oh, uh. Yeah. Goal! Go, the, goal! 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it it uh, doesn't help. How high are, are the blades, like, touching the ground? Can I, Is there something that I can maybe, like. Even you are not small enough to slide underneath. I, I, mm -hmm. I would like to uh, do a thing. What would your thing be? I'm gonna run forward and I'm going to try and push him and push myself simultaneously through the next fans. While pushing, though, I'm going to do healing hands on him. Okay, this will be another deck save for you. Right, yep. Um, and when you get to the other side, yes, you can do your, your healing hands. So roll me a dexterity saving throw as you run up to kind of like form tackle him yep. through the axe. Healing place. hands are being pushed, though. Like, I'm pushing and healing hands if, this, if okay. that's allowed. I don't know if that's allowed. But... Sure, why not? Okay, cool. So you'll get five hit points. Sweet. As you also get shoved through to the other side. Uh, classic Michael roll, that is a uh, four. Okay, uh, that's seven more points of slashing damage yeah. as you're able to shove him on the way through. Fortunately, you do take the hit for him. Uh, though, as you are being shoved, you need to stop your friend from moving anywhere forward because there's flames here. Misty step if I can use it. Uh, yeah, you, you, misty, you can misty step yourself. Can't Cannot. misty step with him. That is Dimension Door. Yeah, oh, a bit okay. higher of a, of a skill gap there, but... Are the flames... Okay, is there, like, a gap anywhere near the bottom, or is it just, like, You can certainly wall? try to go under the flames. I'm gonna try to wild shape and turn into a snake. Okay, you're gonna be a snake, and yep. you're gonna slither your way under the flames? But I still have the same face. Oh, of course! Like... I would... <laughs> 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 so round. I'm a snake. He was like super round and then just like. <laughs> okay, so you form yourself into a snake. Uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw as a snake, which I believe gets a plus yeah. two. Add advantage because you're very short. Ooh, 18. <coughs> roll again just in case you get higher. That's a nine, so I'll take the 18. 18 plus the, the two for a dexterity, so a 20. You slither your way across 
and you do feel the heat of the flames behind you as your snake-like body begins to touch the new in front of you, and it seems rather sticky. What is the total damage I've taken? I know it's the seven, and the one before that was... Ten. Ten. Seventeen total. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to Misty Step across the whole, the rest of it. Uh, so you want to do like 30, 30 foot Misty Step to the yeah. front thing there? Yeah, past the goo. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Because I could take like one more step before the flames and then... And then you just go past the goo. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Fishman waves at you as you arrive on this side. Oh, well, you've done really nicely here. Um, so... Watch your legs, though. Uh, Larry's rather hungry today. And you watch as the ground opens up in a mouth. Uh, mm. Fucking Larry. Who the fuck is Larry? Oh, it's Larry. He's a, a dungeon mimic. And Larry is going to lash out at you with his tongue. But I guess we'll just put everyone onto a turn order now. So everyone roll me some initiative. Wow. Because I fucked uh, up. Larry oh, no. is uh, here. And we still have two people on the entire other side of the room. Cool. 18. Yeah. It'll be fine. It's classic guys doing guy things. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, yes. Which is not correct and a way more pain than you should have probably went through. That'll be an 18 for me as well. 18 for you as well as a Honestly, snake. Very fun to watch. Peak really. Sigma male over here. Get hurt. <laughs> almost die. <laughs> <laughs> it's five. I got a five. All right. And let me make sure. You got a five? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me add you to the sheet here, and then I will roll Larry's initiative, uh, and we'll see where he falls. Uh, he's not very boots. fast. Uh, where's there the... are two boots. So. Dungeon cat's on set. Oh. I need to be comforted. I might die soon. <laughs> You'll be fine! That is a 17 plus 1 for his initiative. So Larry also rolls an 18. Uh, my bad on two boots. Uh, I'm missing one from the order here. Right. That's probably me. It's you, I think? Yeah, I'm too busy, uh, you know, feeling my feelings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Roll me that initiative. Tinkle pants. Oh. oh. Did it not pop oh. up? Oh. It did pop up. Oh. Boy. Uh, Four. Four. Excellent. This is gonna be good. Uh, so at the top here, Boots, what is your dexterity modifier? You know, stop. <laughs> uh, plus three. Plus three? Um, what is Tweedle's dexterity modifier? Uh, dex mod is plus one. Plus one, okay, so. Uh, Boots, you will definitely be going first here. But before we get too much further into the combat stuff, I do need to say this because I forgot to do it in the intro. These maps and arts and things like that uh, were graciously provided to us by an artist known as Novembu, N-O-V-E-M-B-U, at underscore Canadian underscore witch on Twitter. And you can find these particular sets, all of the goblin stuff, all of the, the dungeons and things that we'll see today. Jeffrey Fishman uh, is all available on a Roll20 package that you can also get there. So go support cool artists that do cool things and run yourself out of your own little goblin game. Uh, yeah, anyway, so at the top here, it'll definitely be Boots. Boots, what do you want to... Uh, boots oh, boots rolls is, a five. Boots is a five. That's, I rolled yeah. a five. Uh, <laughs> Wait, weren't you? I'm uh, taking so my time. You're supposed to be rolling for the mouth mouth, not Boots? Yeah, I, it's, it's Larry. Larry is an 18 as well. Is he fighting? Mm-hmm. I need to, this is this is what I missed. As a snake, you have a plus two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So you get to go just before Larry as well. But that means at the top of our turn order is indeed Tweedle D Dumb. Tweedle D Dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, you can kind of vaguely see the mouth shape across the uh, the room there. Uh, it's hard to hear what's necessarily happening over there as the axe is axe blades spin and the f- fires across the room. Uh, but you do realize that your friend might be in a little bit of trouble. Gotcha. What do you want to do? Um, I want to shout over to Mr. Jeffrey Fishman. <laughs> Jeffrey, sweetie, question oh. for you. Yes, hi, Is hello. Is this all magic run by chance? Oh, no, these are all practical physical effects. Practical physical effects. Mm. You know, yes. that is so No dying. gimmicks here. I really love that. I mean, to be honest, I was kind of hoping that they would be magically, uh, uh, like everything, everything is practical effects. Uh, 
I do believe that the slimy goo substance has some magical uh, attributes to it. Uh -huh. Um, but everything else here, no, is all very practically run. Mm -hmm. okay, yes, okay. I, I'm very traditional in that fashion. Honestly, when it comes to my I, trap making, that is such a good way to be, and I I really respect you for that. Mm. Um, and then just kind of to myself, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, that means no spell magic is going to work here. Yeah, unfortunately not. And you no, do find no. yourself on the far side of the room here. I do find myself on the far side of the room. The better side of the room. Um. The safer side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> but is it better? Oh, Jeffrey Fishman is on the other side. You are now closer to Jeffrey Fishman. 40, 40, 40, 40. My heart. Yeah, they're fine so 70, each. 70, 80. And I can get 90. you a, a measurement okay. if you um, would like. Oh, crazy! I love that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Is is our little mouth boy? Uh. Mm. Uh. I would like to uh, try and cast Crowd of Madness on. Okay. Um, mm. On our slime. The, what? What is his name? Larry. Larry. Yes. Larry the mouth. Larry the uh, mouth. The mouth face. The face of the, the dungeon mouth. mimic. The dungeon mimic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I can think. Crown of Madness. I think my only thing here is can you see him? Humanoid. So the thing is, you have whirring axe blades and flames interspersed between you and even being able to see this mouth that is on the ground. Yeah, you're right. So what I want from you is a perception check first to see if you even note where Larry the mouth is. All right, fair enough. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Um, that is going to be an 18. 18, yeah, good enough. You note, and I think what gives it away is that like Larry's tongue is rather tongue. long. It's yeah, just, blah, blah, blah. just like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Exactly. Uh, and so, so you're I like, that <laughs> tongue needs crown of madness on it. Yeah, I just like put a little, so I just kind of like, <laughs> I put my little loot away. <laughs> Because I've just been casually yeah, just like strumming it the whole time, like mm -hmm. little guitar solos the whole time, loop solos the whole time. I put it away and I'm just like, bibbity bobbity, fuck you, and <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little um, glitterly glittery uh, crown of thorns goes around the tongue, the tip of the tongue. Does the crown of madness have a saving throw for the intended target? Oh, that's a great question. Let's find out. Why you yes. Making, why wisdom. You wisdom, wisdom, wisdom saving, saving throw. throw here. You're making Larry into a little freak. You got a tongue <laughs> ring. <laughs> like, what you got a tongue <laughs> ring. Listen, everybody deserves a little bit of glitz and glamour. Larry rolls a five. The tongue ring sets in. Now, oh what does God. this spell do? Okay, so. <clears throat> The charmed target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack, blah, blah, blah. Um, on your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control over target. Sure. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure basically like the chart that it says the target is charmed. Mm -hmm. In what? Way. I'm pretty sure Crown of Madness is rather specific on like. There's another paragraph, I think. The charm target must use action for. Yeah, it said that. We said that. Melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. Yeah, I was gonna say. So basically, I can choose to attack. Uh, instead of like it choosing to attack things, I can choose where it attacks. Mm. Um, and I am going to choose to say that Larry attacks himself. Can't be, himself. can't be himself. Oh, it can't be himself? On each of its turns, make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you Damn. mentally choose. The only other target in this area no. is Jeffrey Fisher. No! So, the Crown of Madness currently holds as a tongue ring. Uh, is there? Does it have to be against another person? Mm -hmm. Or does it, it say another does. creature? It could be me, technically. It but. can also be your friend. If you really love Jeffrey, Those which is acceptable. Range is the thing. It has to make the melee attack of someone that is in range. Currently, you think with that large tongue lashing about, there are only two options yeah. for you at the present time. You're like, yo, what that tongue do? And, uh, <laughs> is there any way that I can make it? It's just me and it, Jeff. Does it say action or does it say attack? Well, attack would be his attack action. Okay, so like, what if I, instead of attacking him, can I mind <laughs> bend it so that his tongue, instead of being like mean, to just like, Gently scoop up my friend and kind of like fling him towards the door. 
so that he just kind of like catapults we'll him We'll see over. what happens on Larry's turn when you get to that point. As of right now, that is your action. You have movement remaining. Yes. Would you like to try and traverse the trap course here as it is set out? Or are you content to stay on the far side here? Um... Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and try and traverse a little bit because, okay. you know. Uh, little goblin legs get about 25 feet worth of movement, which will get you past the first trap here, but I do need a dexterity saving throw. Absolutely. As you do pass the first of the warring axe blades. You said dexterity saving throw? Yes. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a really solid nine. Mm, we love that for us. Uh, the axe blade bites us. into you as it spins across here, uh, dealing seven points of slashing damage to you. You do end up on the other side, but a little bit worse for wear. You have a bonus action remaining here if there's any abilities or skills that you would like to utilize. Uh, you've already cast a leveled spell, so leveled spells are out for the turn. Um, I would like to go ahead and look back his boots and say you know your hair is looking particularly cute today i'm really and the type of like hairspray you're using is it scented because it seems like a really nice scent and i give her bardic inspiration oh. excellent all right boots you're bardically inspired here uh this would then bring us to our snake slithering across the ground mantis what do you want to do uh, I would like to, since I'm not past the goo, mm. uh, I would like to actually cast doo -doo -doo -doo, Wild Shape and turn into a hummingbird. Okay. Now remember, you have a limited amount of Wild Shapes per day. I got two of them. I'm using my second one. All right. <laughs> here we go. You become <laughs> a hummingbird. <laughs> the same head. <laughs> I love that so much. You are now a hummingbird. Where do you go as a hummingbird? I have no idea what the move speed of a hummingbird is. We're just gonna call it a 40 foot fly speed. It's fine. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move toward uh, our friend, Larry Fishman. Okay. You move towards Larry Fishman. Uh, what do you want to do? So that you're, are you bonus action uh, capable for the wild shape or? I don't think so. Okay, so it's a that's just it. full action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do have bonus action remaining, but you are now a hummingbird. Larry hummingbird. Fishman watches you turn from snake into hummingbird. Oh, hey, cool trick. Ah! Oh, <laughs> terrifying face, though. Um, dude, uh, yeah, back, back. <laughs> and kind of like lazily prods at you with his spear. Yeah, um, back. And then I will, I guess, try to put myself um, as a distraction to the, the hell mouth. Sure, sure, a distraction to the hell mouth. Um, Larry the Hellmouth. <laughs> it's a good enough name for him, I with, guess. With a tongue ring. With a tongue with ring. A tongue oh, yeah. There's definitely, like, thrash metal playing. Free league. Um, has the crown of madness on him. There are now three options for you to provide Larry to attack. Larry would like to... <laughs> Do it. Sure. Casually caress someone I... with his tongue. Can he, he try to gently like try to like um like taco like scoop? <laughs> you get the zoom on that with the, the camera. Is that okay? Ready? So if if my mouth is Larry's mouth, it wouldn't be hamburger, which is like the one. It's the taco, which is mm. or hot dog, as some people would say it, mm. which is. Uh huh. And so he would just try to like kind of take his Cradle. tongue and would like try to like scoop up. Who who are we attempting to scoop? We're scooping. We're scooping. Oh. We're scooping pants. Okay. Can we pants. Scoop pants. We're gonna yeah. Uh, Larry and with his new tongue. And just kind of try to like gently toss him over towards Jeffrey. Not at Jeffrey, but just kind of you know just kind of cat gently catapult him. Gently. Yeah. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's never good. It's gentle. <laughs> it's wet. Mm. It's sticky. This is uh, a tongue in, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you become adhered to Larry's tongue mm. as he attempts to deposit 
him on the other side, as Larry's tongue backwards over his face here. Uh, very much stuck, Pants. Very much stuck. You're going to have to do something to extricate yourself from the situation, though it does seem to have worked for the time being that you don't take any damage here, mm. but you are definitely stuck to Larry's tongue. Yeah, I'm gonna... just leaves it here trying yeah, to, just trying to like, tap him off. Get him, get him <laughs> off the thing. I'm there. not getting good mouth. I'm not getting good mouth. I need off. I need it off this ride. Not good mouth. Boots, what would you like to do? Larry can't move, so he's literally a, a piece of floor. Uh, so. <laughs> um, hmm. Do you think that if I were to use disengage or a dash or something, I could have some kind of benefit here? Disengage would provide you at least an advantage on the dexterity saving throws. Okay, I wanna do that. Yeah, so you, as a rogue, you're gonna use your bonus action to disengage and then run through the first set here? Yes. Okay, absolutely. Go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw with advantage. Okay, I can do that. That's a... oh. Six, that's a 23. Hey. You are the first to get through this ax blade unscathed as it swings around with the blood of your friends still on it. Uh, you do end up next to one of your compatriots here. That is your movement and bonus action. You still have a full action if you would like to. Could I dash? Dash. You yeah. can. To get you another 25 feet of movement, which means at least another dexterity saving throw that disengaged last your entire round. Okay. So you would get another deck save here, and okay. then you'd end up in the middle of the fire if you took your full dash action. Okay, so question. Answer. Um, could I sit in the fire and only get like one round of damage, or would it be like more than one? We'll call it one round's okay. worth of okay. damage. All right, so this is what happens. Hold on, let me roll first. Um, that's, a, oh. hmm, that's another 20. 23? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the axe blades seem to uh, be rather easy for you to get by. Okay, so this is what happens. As Boots is making her way through, she is just swinging her hips, and she stops for a moment to look at Tweedledee, and she says, Yes, uh, my my hairspray, it smells like hibiscus. Mm. Just kind of like a Wah. And then continue just like, hip went swaying through, and then you see her just kind of like walking through the fire very casually. Doesn't seem even phased that there's fire here. Uh-huh. Not phased that there's fire there. One round worth of damage is going to be 13 total okay. points. Okay, however, mm -hmm. as she kind of like gets bathed in this fire, you see like, wow, the hairspray is like, fire resistant somehow. And um, you see like the little like giant glitter scales on her cheeks, they start to glow almost as if maybe she has some kind of like draconic fire resistance or something. Well, she's resistant wow. to fire. Yeah. So you take the half here, it'll be six. Okay, cool. Thank you. you walk through the fire in front of you. Okay, it's absolutely. a very goblin music video. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. That's my turn. Thank Excellent. you. Oh, I forgot to rename because you're pants now. Uh, so I have to rename your token. But yes, pants. As you are attached to this tongue, <laughs> what would you like to do? Can I try and cut myself from the tongue? You want to cut yourself off the tongue? Not myself, but cut the tongue off me. Uh, you can certainly try. Roll me an attack. With what weapon are you planning to cut said tongue? My, my greatsword. Okay. A greatsword is absolutely going to be a disadvantage here because you are attached to this thing, right? Uh, You're adhered to the surface. A my, smaller blade would probably be a, hand a little axe. bit easier. I do, I do have a hand axe. I think you could probably manage the hand axe. The great, the, the greatsword being a two-handed yeah, weapon is true. going to be a little it's bit more true. difficult. It's true. It's true. I'm going to roll my hand axe. So roll hand axe for me. So far. I should have rolled. Uh, yeah, are you not, you don't want to roll physical dice on these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Now that your roll is decent, you, you want to roll? <laughs> Uh, I believe in you. I'm gonna, whatever makes you more comfortable. The dice is, I'm, dice is not my friend, but that's fine. I still use them. You got this. Hand axe. 20. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Michael roll. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. I told, I just, I think. Okay. He's rather easy to hit. What is the number? It's a nine. It's a nine. Um, unfortunately that will miss. Yes, I know. Uh, as you try to get into the tongue here, you find that not only your hand axe, but the arm swinging the hand axe gets adhered 
to the top. Perfect. And now you are very much stuck on this beast as its ringed tongue flails about wildly. I'm, I, I am, I'm here. Uh, this is your, this is the life now. This is the life. This is life now. Uh, all my spells, all my spells bring things closer to me. Mm -hmm. I would like not to be closer, but none of my spells do that. <laughs> So this brings us back up to the top of the turn order here for Tweedle the Dumb. Tweedle, mm -hmm. what do you want to do with this particular turn? I actually have a couple of questions. I hopefully have plenty of answers. Um, ooh, good to know that I have that. Um, you're not gonna like that later, but I'm not gonna talk about it right now. <laughs> I just, I was Great surprises, this love that for me. <laughs> no, I mean like it's in there, you'll know what it is, but uh -huh. like you're not gonna like it. Um, But don't worry, I'm not gonna use what it right now. What does this turn have? Right now, I was wondering, because since I'm a shapeshifter, I have shape changer. Mm -hmm. Um, I was wondering if I could turn into, um, uh, I'm thinking in uh, Aarakocra. Which okay. I think it's like flying bird, bird yes. people. Yes. Um, and kind of like do a similar play to my friend here, uh, and fly my way out of all this uh, BS. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. You do note that the roof line is a rather narrow opening. Yeah. But you could certainly try to maneuver your way through this as a flying aracocra. Yeah. I want to try. Okay. <laughs> So it's still gonna be deck saves here as you turn into a bird person. Bird person. Uh, oh, I'm I I'm since I'm small, I'm a small hair. You are crow, so I'm a little crow. <laughs> I decided to turn into a little crow and then just like a little crow voice, I'm just like a crow because we're pretty and intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> as you preen your feathers. Roll yeah. me some deck saves. Absolutely. Um, that being said, at home, I have no idea of changeling functions like this. I just think it's cool. So we're going to go with it. Yeah, we love to see it. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? Dexterity saving throw. Right, okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm, that's a good question. I'm not really... <laughs> we're going to see. Um, because I'm going to see if... Whether or not that thing that I said you didn't have to worry about is actually wow, wow, we're gonna use it now. I don't powerful. know, maybe. Wow, she powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, they were like, "Do you want more ability stuff, or do you want a feat?" And I was like, "I want a feat, and it's yeah. one that like DMs don't love, but I love." Did you take Lucky? Yup. <laughs> oh. <I> quit <laughs> leaving. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> They said I could have it. It's not my fault. I didn't make the rules. I just play by them. But I will not use it right now. Use it. I, I dare you. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, if you're going to dare me, as you guys learned earlier. Lucky is the only feat that I ban. Yeah. And I forgot to do it for this game. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's the only one I ban. That's roll. crazy. Okay, cool. Well, it was a 12. To all you. Uh-huh. Do you want to re-roll that with your lucky feat? No, I want to save my lucky feet. <laughs> oh, okay, great. All right, I love that for you. Yeah. No, wait, just kidding. Here, wait, no, I'll get rid of one of them because I'm pretty sure you won't give us a long rest. Um, <laughs> and that's a nat 20. <gasps> yes! <laughs> that's our first nat 20. Nat 20. <laughs> yes. Here for it. We love you. All the feet enjoyers out there, there you go. You're so great. This is why Lucky is banned. <laughs> all, all my fellow DMs at home went, yep, this is why we banned Lucky. All my homies hate feet. Oh, man. <laughs> this, is, this is why we <laughs> banned Lucky. I will say, my DM, my usual DM for my campaign also really doesn't like it, so. It's busted. You, as a crow? Yeah. I'm a crow. Why a cross? I mean, you have a you're a crow. You know what? Screw it. You're a crow. You can la you can be over here by Larry with the mouth, Yay. as you fly Larry your way the over the nonsense. I'm a little annoyed no one's touched the goo yet, but that's fine. You, yeah. I guess it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Whatever. Um, 
Look, You've... you made it very vague and ominous, and therefore none of us yeah. want to touch it. Like, well, everyone knows what flames are. Everyone yeah. knows what, like, axe blades mm -hmm. are. Right, right. Mystery, damage, mystery goo. Damage. Mystery goo. You, ne you never everyone know. Everyone likes a mystery goo. Listen, you just pass. This could be a quicksand scenario, and I'm not a fan of that, so... You fly your way across with your lucky natural 20. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to do with your turn? I believe that was your action and your movement. Yes, it was. And I think that uh, I'm just going to land and, and look up into the sky, almost breaking the fourth wall and go, wow, that was a really lucky break. <laughs> <laughs> and I turn back into myself and hit my gong. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, is that is that Larry's? I just just for anybody who was wondering, Tweedledee Dum is chaotic evil. So. Oh, all right. This makes sense. So I do believe that you have to maintain Crown of Madness in some way here. Yes. Oh shit! Yeah, you're probably uh, right. So let's find out how that functions. I think it's it, a concentration. In your subsequent turns, you can use your action to main control oh, over no. the target, or the spell no. ends. Oh, See you later. You know what? Peace. Yep. Listen, I tried so hard. And then you turn yourself into a so crow. Far. And uh, it turns out Larry the Mouth uh, no longer like has his piercing. He seems a little disappointed. It's hard to tell because he doesn't talk. I'm looking like a snack. His tongue is full. <laughs> but you are attached to him I'm looking like in a, a snack. rather snack like way. Mantis, as a hummingbird floating in front of our fishman, Jeffrey Fishman here, what do you want to do? Hey, uh, what's up with the hell mouth? I need you to stop. Oh, that's Larry. Uh, Larry is a wonderful friend of mine. He's been in this dungeon for generations now. Um, and I take him everywhere I go when I was hired for this gig. Uh, I got Larry a spot here as well. Uh, you're really off-putting with the, like, <laughs> the bird wings and the face that just doesn't ever close its mouth <laughs> and the just really vigorous flapping. Um, no, unfortunately, uh, Larry is part of this thing here, and this is my job, so I don't think I can ask him to stop. Uh, I am... Okay, well, hmm. Let's see. I don't have intimidation. That's, <laughs> not, that's definitely not a thing. Um, can I see if he has any, like... I guess he's just a fucking fish. Um, he's a fish man. Fish man. Fish yeah. man. He's a man. He's a man. Larry Fishman. Larry Fishman. He's men. He's men. Jeffrey Fishman. Is there? Um, Suddenly, I'm going, to, I'm going to try and and charm my way into having him let go of my compatriot. Hey, if you uh, if you let him go. I'll, I'll do your dental work for free. Is this an uh -huh. actual spell charm person, or is this I'm just, just, trying, trying to I'm just trying to persuade Larry? Yep. Pure charisma. Pure charisma. Roll me a persuasion check. Charisma, uniqueness, and urban talent. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Dental, you know, dental people with charisma. Nope. Always 10 out of 7. That's a 7. I think um, Jeffrey Fishman speaks of, oh, sorry, we actually have a really excellent dental plan. Um, you take a look at Larry's teeth, and you know what? Yeah, they look really nice. Just whitened. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Got the veneer and everything. Yeah, damn it. Mm. All right, well, all right. I'm going to try to, uh, that's, that's less than 10 feet away. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to poison spray and just be like, ah, well, fair enough. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Huh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Right, right, right in his eye. Oh, all right. Roll poison. Uh, poison spray is a dexterity save, I think. Uh, oh, and you can't dex. Yeah, yeah he, he, he. Uh, is everyone just throwing up on everyone? <laughs> so I want. Yeah. So he's got a plus. He's a plus two to his save. So we're gonna see how that pans out for him here. Uh, he does not have Lucky, so that is a 10, which means that it goes directly into his eyeball and sing stings him, and he goes, no! Because his tongue is still full of pants. Um, sure is. Yeah, and now he has one squinted eye that's like crying, and it's like really red underneath. Go ahead and roll me the damage of your poison spray. It's uh, 2d12. 2d12? That's right at level 5. 
Oh, wow, that is a lot. Ten. Uh-huh. And that's a four. A ten and so fourteen total points of damage as his northward eye becomes red and inflamed and he starts to cry somewhat. <laughs> Uh, Wait, can we appreciate the scribble? Oh, nice scribble. Yeah, I'm trying yes, to do it. It's, it's really hard scribble. to do with just the like no, little touchpad there. It's uh, real good. <laughs> <laughs> it's <perfect. laughs> so, uh, yes, deal 14 total points worth of damage to him here. Um, and he seems rather perturbed. Uh, Jeffrey Fishman goes, oh, hey, well, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> I tried to reason with you, but now you got to deal with these guns. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I just like flick up my my wings as I, as I start to fall, and then it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Larry has a tongue full of pants. pants. It's me. <laughs> I cannot roll very well today. Great. Uh, it is a fourteen that for misses. him to bite you. That misses. So you're able to move his tongue away from his mouth in some way mm -hmm. that he cannot bite you. You're still adhered to it, but maybe you just jerk yourself really hard in one direction and he is unable to bite you, at least for now. This does leave Boots sitting in the fire at the moment. Boots, what would you like to do? Uh, Boots, hmm. Boots is gonna try to do a, an acrobatic jump over this goob stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. So generally, no touchy. jumping is strength based. Mm. Acrobatic. So would you like back handspring, launch yourself into the air out of the flames and over the goop? Oh yeah. And okay. it, it's like, it starts off with like a K-pop choreography, just like a lot of like. <laughs> in the flames. Yeah, in the flames, right? Just wreathed in fire and flame and just like, yeah, 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 whee. Roll me an acrobatics check. And we'll see uh, if you make it across. Do it. Remember that you have a bardic inspiration. Yeah. Channel it. Remember that yeah. you have a bardic inspiration. Yeah. Just My a hair D8. got complimented. Mm -hmm. uh, that's ooh, pretty good. That's a 19. Hey. Nice. So that is going to be a 25. Wow. Sure. I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh. I mean, it's just in the back of my mind. I'm just thinking it. Oh yeah, about you're just it. like, wow. It's not just in repeat. It's like, oh, uh, nice. Got compliments. That's literally always me. The choreography yeah. ends yeah. with yeah. a jump and a flip and a spin, and you land well right in front of Larry, but fortunately across from the goo. Mm. Okay. Um. Would that acrobatics have been my action? No, I'm sorry. We've been doing deck saves for the other one, so just go ahead. Okay, great. I'm gonna pull out my weapons and I'm gonna attack. You're gonna attack Larry? Yeah. All right. Screw Larry. <laughs> That's right. What did Larry do to you? Um, okay, so I do believe since pants is adhered, that mm -hmm. might count as uh, an ally being within five feet, so my Well, you two... also have a hummingbird, fortunately. Yes. So uh, you do need to hit for the sneak attack to proc, but yes, yes. it will okay. be available. Okay, um, absolutely. I'm gonna go, uh, hey -ya! With my short sword and my, sorry, mm -hmm. my rapier and my short sword. Ooh. Rapier and short, rapier is, you cannot wield two weapons if you use a weight rapier. What? Yeah. Really? Okay, well, I'll just you use the rapier. You can go short rapier. sword dagger if you would. I'll like. just use the rapier, because okay. I rolled, oh shit, I keep hitting stuff. I rolled a 26. Did you, did you roll your physical dice or did you roll the, the, the digital ones? The digital. We're doing okay, physical okay. today! <laughs> Get it out of your system! We're doing I've physical. Been trained! Yeah. Okay. We do okay. everything online, sorry. It's all right. Just casually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll You're good. 20. You're fine. You've been doing yeah, great like, all day. All day. You get to perceive this. <laughs> it's not a 20. You don't want me perceiving your dice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, There's so that's something we've learned. 12? A 12 will just hit. Ooh, oh, nice. As you stab Larry in the ground face. Ground face. Uh, and yeah. roll with all of the sneak attack die as well. Okay, that's three dice. <gasps> okay, uh, that's going to be a 10, 16 plus 3, that's 19. 19 total points of damage as you stab Larry in the ground face. Wow! Yeah, and uh, my rapier is very, very, like, Sailor Moon inspired. Like, yeah. It's pink, it's pastel, it's got, like, a jewel heart on it. Love it. Yeah. So. That was a lot of damage. Larry, uh, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> roars out in pain, still with his tongue lolling about. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, well done. Okay. Boots. Anything with your bonus action? Yes. I'm gonna suggest that you let my friend down. Otherwise, you're gonna get another one of those. Um. I I think that's gonna be it. Um. I'll use since I have my bonus action. I'll use it to just look hot. Right. Mm -hmm. It's my um, turn. Generally a free action, but if you take the full time of a bonus action and do it, you just look extra hot. Yeah. I was just in fire, like, mm -hmm. it just makes sense. Super hot. There's just like still a, little, still a little halo smoking. around mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. just literally smoldering. Yes, I did just come out of the fire and acrobat over this thing and then do the best Sailor Moon pose ever as I destroyed this stupid bitch on the floor. Like, oh yeah, my you God. get it. Don't like, talk about my there. man Larry like that. Look, look, look. It's just a part of the hotness. I mean, you yes. you named your baby Larry. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Pants, you're adhered to Larry's tongue. What do you want to do? I would like to hit Harry. Or Larry. Hit Harry? <laughs> Larry. Harry no Larry. It's, it's his twin brother. So here's the deal. You're fully adhered to the tongue. Remember, you got the hand axe last time. Can I disengage and get off of it? You like... can use an athletics check to try and extricate yourself from the tongue. That is, it is your action to do that. I though. will it do that. Full time. I will do that, even though I've been rolling terribly. Maybe but if I don't look this time. <laughs> nope. Uh, athletics 11 total to do that. 11 total? It'll be contested. I rolled a natural 20. Yeah, sure. I'm still here. Ooh. I'm hanging out. It's you a good realizing I should have given my bardic inspiration. You are on the you like tongue. Wrap around that thing. <laughs> he's just he's in there at this point, <laughs> cocooned in a tongue. Do you have any bonus actions you want to try to utilize? I'm looking now. I definitely am looking now. Uh, we'll see if I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like you want to do like a hex to like make their strength checks weaker so you can try and extricate yourself. But then yourself. I'm out of all spells for the rest of the campaign if if we don't take a short rest. So. You can always ask your party to take short rests. I might take another misty step off of it just to get away. That's, I mean, literally the easiest way to get It's out a bonus of action, I'm pretty sure. It, it is, is, and it is only verbal. Fortunately, yeah. Larry has not consumed you yet, so you still have the faculties of your mouth. <laughs> Where do you teleport yourself to within 30 feet of this location? I'm going to bonus action misty step behind our uh, Jeffrey Fisherman. Okay. And I will grab out my great sword and just putting up close to him. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not killing him. I said uh -huh. close. I said close. Mm. Threatening to fillet the fish. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Jeffrey is so cute though. We did establish pretty early that this is the violence table. Mm -hmm. uh, fair. And I say to Jeffrey Fishman, you ever hear fish sticks? How loud did you say that? What? Well, yes. Um, some of my favorite cousins ended up as fish sticks. Variety pack is what's about to happen if you don't say anything to stop that little face from eating everybody. All right, all right. Let's let's talk it out. There's no need to be hasty. It's just doing, you know, my job here at the dungeon. Um, roll me an intimidation check. Sure. Sick. We'll give you two actions. I don't give a shit. Whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah. Finally, a good a good roll. Nice. Is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Larry, Larry, can you stop the whole chomping thing and the the tongue thing? And Larry now having use of his tongue. When I was having a really good time. Until that stupid bird spit in my eye. <laughs> it really hurt. Oh, I know, Larry, it's fine. It's fine. Um, this very nice gentleman happens to have a very large blade pressed right into my back fins. So we're going to stop for the moment here and just let them um, talk, right? Yep, unless you like tartar sauce. I'm actually quite partial to a horseradish sauce, yes, but um, it does have some rather negative connotations for my kind. And 
So, for the time being, you're now off the initiative list here, off the turn order. What do you want to do? Larry has backed down uh, and is just kind of sitting there, open mouth, tongue just kind of being weirdly drooling. Uh, what would anyone like to do? Uh, so, Mr. Fishman. That's my name, yes. How do we get past this gate over here that you have? Uh, well, conveniently, I have all of these keys on mm. my belt. Um, and I could hand you one, and it would open this gate. As we say in Goblin, run it. <laughs> right. Sorry, I don't speak Goblin very well, um, but I will absolutely do my best. <clears throat> you won't have any trouble though, right? You not here to really hurt anyone. Nope. Unless you want that, I'm just doing a thieving. Doing, doing a thief? Okay. Um, do you mind if I ask him why you're even here? Why are we here? I just like look at everyone. So, um, Jeffrey, sweetie, we signed an NDA. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, totally we can't. Didn't, you know, you know how those contracts are. Like, if you, if you, if you like go against the NDA, they could sue you. Or, or, you know, like, set you up for a hanging at the end of the week. And you know how much the village people like the hangings. And we're very small, like, we're very cute. But it, a lot of people really like to see our limbs dangling. So we can't really be telling you that kind of stuff. Because if it gets around to the big boys, they'll have our necks. And, like, look how cute we are. We can't be hanging. We'll it's be not cute. Persuasion check. Absolutely. <laughs> Can I help by just, like, striking poses? <laughs> Um, uh, either we'll way. Roll a performance check first. Um. So hang on, just wait. Oh, fair enough. So I gotta help out. Ooh, ooh, I can use bardic inspiration on this. Wait, don't use bardic inspiration. Okay, my performance is a five. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is not assisting at this present time. That is totally okay. It's I very got a charismatic. Thank you. Thank you. Of course you have a 21. Uh, yeah. I have a 7 in performance. That's why I was like, don't use the Bardic Inspiration. I got a 14. We're going to be okay. Larry speaks up. Oh, yeah, Jeffrey. You remember that one time I got us in trouble with my big mouth on that last NDA from the dungeon? Yes, Larry. I remember. It was kind of how we ended up here. It was the last drop that we could take. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, Yes. I have a DM question. What's up? Um, just a quick question. Uh, for for short rests, what do those recover? Do they recover actual spells, or do they only recover cantrips? No, wait, cantrips are You're never. You're a bard. Ending. You do not yes. recover any of your spells on a short rest. Your warlock, however, would recover theirs. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, that was just like a one thing. Is it alright if I use another action to just? Can I cure wounds Larry's eye? You can absolutely cure wounds Larry's eye. I feel him with the NDA thing, you know? So I'm gonna help them. Sure, absolutely. Uh, yeah, as Jeffrey and Larry Also, have he didn't technically really hurt anybody. <laughs> Jeffrey will pull the keys off here and hand them to you, Thank being you. the most threatening person in the room right now. Now, now be careful. Some of. Yeah, yeah. Can I just give you the gate key? These are the keys to our quarters as well, and I kind of want to hold on to these so I can go to my room at the end of the day. No, in the the, the in the words of the king hobgoblin uh, himself, Jake Troll, run it. Oh, pants! Let him keep his room key. Jesus. Fine, I'm feeling I'm feeling charitable. Just 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 just, just the other here here. Yes. Um. Oh, and um. Be careful. It is Smashley's birthday, and she does get quite irritable around this time. Yeah, unlike you, we brought a cake. Oh, that was rather generous of you. Um, yes, all right then. Uh, I have a question. Could you do, give us a physical description of Smashley? Sure, Smashley looks a little bit like this break that we're going to take uh, because wow. we have hit the next end of episode here. So thank you for joining us for Goblin, 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 Goblin on Tabletop Jocks. Back. Done. Oh.
Got him, coach.